the Micmar D-Ring Snaffle. The Micmar D-Ring Snaffle Bit elevates the Snaffle Bit to a higher level of communication. This distinctly different design unites classic looks with superior results. The traditional style cheek piece is made from the highest quality stainless steel available and is combined with the jointed, slanted, low port mouthpiece. This mouthpiece functions very similar and hits the same pressure points as the original Micmar mouthpiece. It was easy to replicate the performance she got you know, at home in the combination bit to the show ring with the, using the D-ring. I, you know, I've had, uh, every single horse I've put it on has loved it. It's been, it's a great, great bit. It, um, they're all very soft in it. They go in a good shape. You know, they keep their heads down and it's, again, it just, I've, I've had nothing but good luck with that one. I've had more horses like that one than I've ever had any other horse like a bit. Unlike a typical snaffle mouthpiece, it is lightweight, wide, and flat with a low port. It incorporates a copper roller for stimulating saliva and helping to keep an overactive mouth pacified. The jointed, slanted, low port mouthpiece lies flat on the tongue with no interference and is comfortable and properly positioned in the horse's mouth at just the right level to achieve effective results. She was really good and she, the bit, I, it's, again, she would ex she had gotten used to it. She would accept my hand, and what, her jump had improved. She's jumping higher and in better form, more uh, consistent, and was champion. And uh, she'd been champion, I think, three out of the four times since she started using that thing. The D-ring style cheek piece helps prevent possible pinching at the corners of the lips. It also aids in directing the horse and prevents the bit from pulling through the horse's mouth. They like it, you know, when you're softer, and they seem to enjoy that, but at the same time, you know, if they want to, like, get a little quick after the jump or whatever, you could just say no and then let go right away again, and they just seem to respond a lot better to that versus something else. You have to, you know, really hold on to them for, like, five or six strides versus in the Micmar, it's like one, maybe two steps, and you can let go right away again. So you just got a lot better of a response from the horse and a better attitude almost, I thought. The Micmar D-Ring offers riders an excellent tool for achieving that proper carriage, as well as good lateral and vertical flexion. The staffle itself, the way it's constructed, it makes it so the horse can push it up off his tongue if he's uncomfortable. He can start to kind of give to because of the centerpiece. If you have a horse that wants to push his tongue over the bit, it's up high enough where they can't get around it. They, they stay in a position and then they don't fight you on it because all of a sudden, because the bit doesn't hurt them, it, you know, because of the way it sits into the corners of their mouth, they'll kind of fight it for a second all of a sudden they go, oh my God, this is gonna hurt me, I'm fine. You know, go ahead. And you can see them, their whole demeanor will change. You'll, you can just see them, they'll start to prick their ears, you'll see them start to move their tail. That's usually a sign that a horse is relaxed and comfortable. Preferred by hunter and equitation riders for the show ring as well as for pleasure riding and schooling, this bit gives you that desired traditional look with the optimal control offered by the Micmar bits.